These are the Chat City interviews from 103.2 Preston FM. And uh, right now, nice to welcome into the studio my first guest this morning live in the studio. And uh, it's Nadia Fitzsimmons. And Nadia is the event director of Miss Great Britain Northwest. Nadia, very good morning to you. Good morning and thank you for having me this morning. It's absolutely lovely pleasure to have you in the studio. So, tell us a, a little uh, about the competition and about the events that are about to, I think they're about to take place, aren't they, in Southport and Liverpool? Yes, uh, Miss Great Britain is in search for the next winner. The event will take place on the 30th of June at the Southport Theatre and on the 4th of July at the Liner Hotel in Liverpool. 30 girls will take part in three rounds, club wear, evening wear, and interview in front of a panel of judges, specific judges and a live audience of friends and family and sponsors. The winner will represent Northwest and Southport in the national final of Miss Great Britain held in November in Leicester. And I, I mean, the opportunities for the future for the winner um, is, as you say, it's then to go to the finals, is it November? And then after that, depending on who wins there, of course, it's uh, then going on to the worldwide uh, representations for Miss World. So uh, it can be for someone the start of uh, quite a long and exciting journey. Absolutely. And we are encouraging young women, 17 to 27, to enter the competition. It is not limited. Marriage and unmarried women can apply and enter the competition. This is about building the confidence of women in society. And who, who makes a, a, an ideal person to be represented and to come along as Miss Northwest? Who are you looking for? Uh, we are looking for role models and ambassadors, young role models and ambassadors in our local communities. They won't be only be judged on physical appearance, but on attributes of strong success and independent young ladies should possess. Personalities and interview techniques will play a large part in the selection of judging process. And, uh, I mean, things have changed again, I suppose, now in society because, I mean, in the 60s and the 70s, I mean, Miss World and beauty competitions were on TV. They were on national TV. And then when we went through um, uh, many years when it wasn't appropriate to have such competitions on TV, how, how do people respond these days to beauty competitions, if, if that's what you want to call it? Uh, you have a mixed feeling and at the same time, things are changing now. We live in a 21st century. Beauty pageants are not just about wearing uh, swimsuits and walking on in heels on the red carpet. I mean, these girls are role models now playing a role in society, organizing their individual uh, events to raise money for local charities like Miss Great Britain is involved in raising funds for Rainbow Children's Hospice. These young girls are going out in society now sensitizing and talking to young girls who are like need that moral support for them in whatever stage of life they are to say yes you could do it or you can be what you want to be you just have to believe in yourself so it's not all about just beauty they are, they are playing roles that are better in society and making contribution to local people. Right. So just take us through then, somebody listening now, and uh, if they decide to apply, how does it then proceed? Would you interview them first of all, or do they then come along to one of the heats, either in Southport or in uh, Liverpool, or is there a pre-interview first? Uh, you can apply or enter for the competition via the Miss Great Britain West website or via the local website, the organizer's website, sierraroyalty.com. We are ho holding a live audition in Southport 
on the 12th of April between 11 and 2 p.m. So young girls between the age of 17 and 27 are encouraged to turn up. You can apply their application forms available if you're not able to apply online. So you can come to the auditions and then we could make you comfortable and get you application forms to fill and get your auditions done on the day. And can people who are maybe already models, can they apply? Or is this particularly for people who've not done any modelling before or done any similar kind of work? It's got no restriction on being model or non-model. We are just looking for ambassadors. You cannot enter the competition if you are a, tight, a current title holder, of course, meaning you have a responsibility and commitment for a particular pageant say miss england or miss manchester or miss liverpool but you can enter the competition if you're not a title holder and you are within the criterias asked by miss great britain you can go online and read the rules and regulations that qualify you as applicant or contestant for the forthcoming miss great britain 2014 so the girls would come along to at the moment the heats in southport and then in london how many are you contestants are you hoping may be apply were you involved last year with the uh, with the 2013 uh, no i wasn't last year i I wasn't last year, but we are looking for 30 finalists. Right. Basically, uh, all over Northwest. We don't just want to limit it to one area. We're looking for 30 finalists to apply from Southport, Preston, Manchester, Liverpool, all over Northwest, Blackpool, to enter the competition. And the winner will represent Northwest or Southport in the Miss Great Britain final representing the area. And the rounds this time uh, that they will go through, um, uh, the first one is Beauty with a Purpose. Can you tell us a little about that one, please? Uh, Beauty with a Purpose is all about a mission, basically. You're using your beauty to achieve something that will benefit all the people around you, not just you. Mm. So these girls are not just beautiful. They are playing roles. They go out in communities, in charitable organizations to basically speak to people that are affected with people that are affected with, uh, say, current situation that they need support with or need someone to speak to. So mm. they've got a mission of making their own contribution that to make a difference in someone's life or the society that we live in. And then one of the other ones, uh, Miss Talent, uh, I think, is, is that looking for people with various talents in life? Yes, these girls are all talented in one way or the other. Some are actresses, some are just ambassadors or politicians, some are lawyers. I mean, we're not just saying acting on stage we're not just saying talent as in acting or dancing on stage that's not what uh, we mean it could be a health care people have different uh talents and these are the talents we're looking out for gone that those days now we say yes because you've performed or you've danced more than ABCD or you've sang more than ABCD, meaning you are the winner. We are actually trying to bring all the talents out of people which are not just uh, red carpet talent. Right. So we're looking for health cares, doctors, lawyers, you know. There is a beauty with a purpose and a talent that we're looking for. And the uh, another one is fresh modulesque, modulesque. That's uh, quite an interest. That's in association with Fresh Academy, uh, photo partners for Miss England. So I take it that's opportunities uh, to have uh, professional photographs. Yes, but I think that's a bit different from what Miss England is doing. That uh, Miss. Miss Great Britain is doing that's what Miss England is doing Miss Great Britain so is, that would be yes something in, different to what Miss Great Britain is doing all right yes so in uh, if people are interested to apply how's the best way to uh, get in touch and um, 
what would you uh, want from the application form? Do do people need to send photographs in and uh, something about the background and about the history? Yes, there are different ways to apply for the competition. You can go online at Star Now or Miss Great Britain website and upload your photograph and fill in all your statistics and biography and we will get in touch with you or just go online and then you see the audition dates and then turn up for audition and you could also apply and fill in your application on the day as i say we have our audition on the 12th of april at the southport theater in southport so we're encouraging young girls to turn up and apply for the competition and uh, so there you are that's uh, southport 12th of april the times are 11 to 2 p.m 11 to 2 p.m and uh, as you say uh, on the day people will come along they'll be made most welcome and uh, looked after absolutely we're encouraging them to come and we g- will give them all their support to make them feel relaxed and comfortable anyone can do it you just need to believe in yourself i mean it's not about a size six competition. We're looking for role models, ambassadors. So that's why we've encouraged married women also to apply this time. We're not just looking for young girls. We're looking for amb- ambassadors and role models in society. And you also mentioned that um, the support to charity, that uh, which is a good cause, the charity again that you mentioned is... Yes, uh, Miss Great Britain supports Rainbow Children's Hospice each year when they host the event. And in previous years, they've raised up to £23,000 for this hospice and they're still doing the same job. So, yes, we are raising, we are involving charitable events and that's just one of the charities that we raise funds for. Right, and the date in Liverpool is still to be set. The date in Liverpool is for audition is still to be set, but the final date in Liverpool for the live event is on the 4th of July. Okay. And the final date for the live event in Southport is the 7th of June, 2014. Okay. Well, Nadia, if you could just give us the website again or the place for people to look. Uh, the website um, is greatbreeding.com or you go on organizers' website, sierrarealty.com, and you will get information and details of entry and live event. Brilliant. Well, I know you've had uh, something of a journey this morning to get to us in mm-hmm. Preston, so uh, I think the, uh, the traffic was horrendous on your uh, journey from Widness. Yes, it was, but at the end of the day, I got here in time and... You've welcomed me, so well, that was very good. It's been lovely to meet you. And uh, I'm just going to uh, play a little audio to show how different this is. This was from 1969, would you believe? And it was Ooh. the Mace- Miss Great Britain contest from Morecambe in 1969. Just listen to this for a moment. Over the years, the styles and shapes of the girls have changed quite a bit. But in the 25 years that the Miss Great Britain contest has been running, the lovely lassies have had to contend with almost predictable weather. Awful. This year, there was half a gale blowing as, one by one, the girls paraded before the judges. Elizabeth Lamb, a local girl. And also putting in an appearance at Morecambe that proved very worthwhile, Wendy George of Derby. She was destined to be the winner. It was a very hard decision to single out just a handful of beauties for the final lineup. Kathleen Wynne Stanley of Wigan made a very pretty picture. But see for yourself, they all did. Ah, oh, dear me, 1969. <laughs> wow. But I wasn't n- born. <laughs> yeah, you weren't born, <laughs> dear me, Nadia. Well, uh, but that has just thrown up a question. Um, the girls who come along, do they have to be local? Um, no, no, they don't have to be local. Northwest event is open to girls. The way Miss Great Britain uh, work is uh, girls are encouraged to enter as many competitions as possible. What you do is if you're the winner, you represent that area. You are not representing your local area. Ah. You are representing Northwest. So for a whole year, you are dedicated to run events or to attend uh, 
basically you have a diary for a year to say you are Miss Northwest and you are committed in a year alongside your own personal duties to run and organize events or attend uh, the many functions, many functions that you'll probably be for Northwest. To. Yes. yes, so lovely. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you, and uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you this morning, and thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening to our podcasts. But don't forget, Chat City is live weekdays from ten till noon on one hundred three point two Preston FM.